Hello everyone. As always, this is Lauren with National American University and at Tinley Putnam School of Strategic Security. Today is actually a very special interview as we are celebrating Women's History Month. Today I have with me the first female graduate of Henley Putnam's Doctor of Strategic Security program. Jolene, uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Did you know that you were the first female to graduate in the program? Uh, actually, I had, I had no idea. So when you initially proposed this, uh, I tried to scramble and go back to see who was in my initial uh, course studies with me. And um, yeah, did, had no idea. So that's, that's it. <laughs> Uh, so were most of the uh, members of your classes, were those mostly men, I guess? Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, so, uh, you know, initially I actually got my master's through HPU in counterterrorism operations. And I think I was the only woman, probably 90% of my classes. And then proceeding to the doctoral program, I thought another woman with me. Uh, but then again, you know, you can't make gender... Um, references off of, off of somebody's name. So I thought there was another woman, but it you know, could have easily been a, a male uh, student, so. And so what are you up to now? What is your current job? So currently I am a assistant professor at a small university in central Pennsylvania. I'm still in the military, so I'm one of their uh, military science uh, assistant professors. In addition, I'm the military historian and I teach that course as well. And then on top of that, you know, I'm a, I'm a mom, so I have a little boy since I've completed the doctoral program. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a head coach for men's and women's rugby at the same university. So I keep my schedule packed. <laughs> Sounds like it. Um, so what, what's the next step for you? What's your next career goal? So with uh, my military career, uh, you know, on the downhill uh, with that, I specifically chose to go back into teaching because it's one of my passions. Um, additionally, it helps my spouse's career. Uh, being in this particular uh, location of the United States. Um, so for me, uh, my military career is hopefully winding up here in retirement in a few, uh, few short years. And then what I'm really looking for is setting the stage for me to transition into a civilian sector job in the strategic security environment. And as we all know, that kind of uh, centralizes around like the DC metro area, so. So you said you got your master's at Henley Putnam and then went on to earn your doctorate. Were all of your classes for that online? Yeah, so, you know, the. I'll just talk about like how I how I found this program and uh, it's a it's a funny story. So I was a, a brand new lieutenant sitting at Fort Bragg and um, my friend Coral and I were like reading an Army Times and there was just a random ad in there from Henley Putnam about their degree program and uh, she was interested in Intel and I was, you know, interested in, in terrorists. Right. Um, so from that ad, you know, both of us jumped off into the, the master's program um, pretty pretty early on. And then uh, I think it was my last year of the master's program is when the doctoral program um, opened. And I was asked if I just wanted to cease, uh, cease fire on my studies there and transition over to the doctoral program. But I decided uh, it was my best interest to finish the master's first and then go into the doctoral program. And it also didn't help that I was, <laughs> I was currently in the middle of Iraq. Uh, um, it was very beneficial uh, to have my classes online. So in between, you know, my duties uh, and the, you know, the time difference we had over there, I was able to, to squeak out um, my homework sometimes late, uh, sometimes late. And uh, sometimes I got, you know, a little, uh, a little extra, um, turn in cushion for some of the things I was doing. But you know, it suited my career. It suited my life situation at the time. And, you know, I have no regrets, obviously. So you said you got a few extensions, which, you know, I would hope the faculty would give you some yeah, extensions. Yeah, you know, sometimes it's like, paper, but, um, hey, uh, we had comms blackout for the past week. Sorry, I couldn't 
submit, you know, my <laughs> or uh, well, it was one class I had to do on, um, I think it was autonomic responses, and I had to submit a video of myself talking, and I could only send it in like 10 second bites, and it ended up being like 32 files. I was like, sorry, I'm using um, the internet in Iraq, <laughs> so um, trust me, I, I did the assignment. Um, but I doubt you want to compile these videos together to see the one minute, you know, clip or whatever it was. Yeah, uh, that it reminded me of this last year's graduation. We had a virtual graduation because of uh, the shutdowns regulations due to COVID-19. And we actually had a student attending the graduation from the embassy in Baghdad. So it's just, and we've heard other stories and I, I personally just can't believe <laughs> doing school while also serving overseas. I can't imagine that. Yeah, no, it's, you know, it's also like, you know, some folks, um, you know, like watch DVDs and some folks like hang out, you know, and, you know, drink coffee or whatever. Uh, I was one of the nerds that were in my tent, you know, typing on my computer doing, um, you know, online education. So, so uh, did you feel like you could still connect with the faculty and your other classmates while in your programs? Yeah, I mean, like I said, like the time difference was, you know, one of the most challenging aspects. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, being back stateside and different time zones, you threw the eventual merger with um, National American University. Uh, everybody's very understanding and then um, of course all of your professors in those degree programs are subject matter experts in their particular fields so we all you know although it might be a different discipline we all speak the same language uh, so it makes it makes it easy to synchronize and then understand why you're late on assignment x so is there a specific memory you have about your time at Inley Putnam? I mean, we've got a, a few um, faculty members there, like working with Dr. Denise Graves, you know, on the dissertation committee and, you know, I'm like, hey man, guess what? I'm, you know, I'm deploying. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> going to Afghanistan. I'm not sure, you know, if there's internet. Uh, I might need like a year extension, you know, we'll, we'll work through it. And then um, came back from that and I ended up teaching up at, you know, the, the military academy uh, or West Point up in New York. So I was like, hey, I'm teaching too, you know, um, I'm grading papers, you know, I might be late, uh, things like that. And just corresponding back and forth and, you know, getting not only academic advice, but, you know, talking about careers and families and things like that. It makes it more personal. And, um, you know, being an assistant professor, again, the second time around, you also fill that mentorship role. So that's something that, uh, you know, I got it a lot in the master's program. And then that was one of my key decision factors of rolling over a school doctoral program as well. So if the, the faculty wasn't uh, personable and you know kind of standoffish I probably wouldn't have done it um, just because it would be more difficult to be like hey I'm deployed or hey I had a giant uh, train derailment <laughs> late uh, working that emergency so well thank you so much for joining us today and for being one of Henley Putnam's uh, first females as we're calling them um, it's really inspiring to hear stories like yours and to see all the women who have now graduated since you. Um, it's just great to see and I really appreciate you talking with us today. Well, uh, you know, I look, um, look forward to, uh, you know, maintaining correspondence with Henley Putnam University. I think I'm one of the few students that still do the surveys or former students, excuse me, that still do the, the surveys out there. And um, thank you, it's, it's, it's an honor uh, to be recognized for this um, achievement. Uh, I, ha I had no idea, you know, I just kind of go through my life, you know, 
achieving or working towards my career milestones. Um, you know, for the other ladies and gentlemen out there, you know, wish you luck in your, in your doctoral studies. You know, sometime life happens, but, you know, continue uh, working towards your goal. And uh, of course, as always, uh, the faculty and staff at HPU and National American uh, University um, will help you through those trials and challenges that you've got out there. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for joining in. Uh, check back in for more videos and have a great day.